We present VIGS lamp, visual inertial Gaussian splitting lamp. Given an RGB stream and IME readings, our method robustly tracks the camera trajectory while reconstructing a 3D Gaussian map. Here's the final rendering results in extrapolated views. Here's an overview of our VIGS lamp system. VIGS lamp takes sequential RGB frames and selects keyframes based on the optical flow magnitude. For each newly selected keyframe, we perform IMU pre-integration with respect to the previous keyframe and use the results to initialize its pose. The newly selected keyframe is added to the local frame graph. A joint visual inertial bundle adjustment is then performed to refine the pose, depth, and new biases and velocity of all keyframes in the graph. Following dry slam, dense visual correspondences are iteratively refined through a comp GRU module. For mapping, each keyframe is unprojected into 3D using its estimated depths and converted into initial Gaussians which are fused into the global map. The global map is then continuously refined through differentiable color and depth re-rendering losses, enabling its system to incrementally build a high-fidelity 3D Gaussian representation. In the backend, VIGS lamp maintains a global post graph and detects loop closures by comparing optical flow difference between current keyframe with previous ones. Once the loop is detected, we perform post-graph bundle adjustment using visual constraints from the loop closure keyframes together with relative post constraint across the post-graph. Furthermore, we update the Gaussians to account for the post and scale changes of keyframes along the post-graph. Now, let's take a look at the results. We first evaluate on the RPNG AR table dataset table 03 sequence with dry turn setting. Our VIGS LAM is able to initialize from the very beginning, maintain robust tracking throughout the sequence, and build high-fidelity Gaussian map in an online fashion. On the contrary, high slam 2 relies purely on visual correspondence and does not utilize IMU signals, therefore experiencing large trajectory drift with poor Gaussian mapping. Here, we show no view synthesis results from extrapolated views. Here is the results after the final global BA and color refinement. We further evaluate on the fast level 2 HKU sequence. Compared to Splash Slam, our VIGS Slam yields noticeably fewer artifacts and achieves faster convergence over the entire sequence. We additionally include extrapolated view synthesis results after the final global BA and color refinement.
Here we show our performance on the UTMM square one sequence. This dataset is captured in a large indoor open hall, which is particularly challenging for both tracking and mapping due to distant cluttered background with limited foreground objects to provide reliable tracking cues. Compared to HiSlam 2, our VIGS SLAM achieves more accurate tracking, reconstructs more complete geometry, and produces far fewer artifacts. Here we show Novio synthesis results on interpolated views along cubic spline smoothed input trajectory. We show rendering results both without and with the final global BA and color refinement. We additionally capture an iPhone sequence with synchronized RGB and AMU measurements. The first part of the recording is standard capture without extreme motion. Both HiSlam 2 and VIGS SLAM achieve stable tracking and reconstruct reasonable Gaussian maps, with ours exhibiting fewer artifacts. We then introduce more challenging conditions, including rapid camera motion and severe motion blur. HiSlam 2 can tolerate mild motion blur that fails under large blur. We further obstruct a large portion of the camera view for an extended period. Despite these challenges, VIGS LAM maintains robust tracking and continues to reconstruct a consistent Gaussian map. Thanks for watching.